What family secret has been kept away from only you and how did you find out about it? My cousin is adopted, but for years we were told not to mention it because she didn't know. I was talking about it with my dad one day because I couldn't believe she didn't know. During the conversation, he let it slip that my older sister was conceived using donor sperm. After a moment, he added that I was also conceived using donor sperm. Our two younger siblings, however, were not and were completely unexpected. It turns out that my older sister knew, but that my mom made both my sister and dad promise not to tell me. I'm not entirely sure why I wasn't supposed to know, but they managed to keep it a secret until I was 22, I'm 23 now. At this point it sounds like your whole family is just unrelated people held together by shared conspiracies. My sister was raped as a teenager and my dad almost killed the guy. Fortunately my dad didn't, and never had charges against him for it. I don't know what happened to the guy. She's older than me by 6 years, so obviously my family couldn't explain what happened to little me. I overheard what happened late at night when everyone thought I was asleep. I had to look up what rape is in the dictionary. Almost all of my family members, extended to, are smokers. I've been told that smoking is extremely bad slash been told not to smoke or else. Just look at our family, no one is doing it, it's unhealthy. Of course I tried anyway, didn't like it though. Then when I was like 14, I've been hanging out with my older cousin. Suddenly she tells me tell no one and lit a cig. Now the weird part is that all of these smokers didn't know that they're all smokers. They've been hiding it from each other too. When my older sister was around 13, she was raped by my dad and grandpa. I had no idea. She's in her early 40s now, and recently invited me over to spend the night so we can hang since we never do. We were playing card games and once her kids fell asleep we started chatting, and then she told me. I was not expecting that. Poor sis. I can't possibly imagine how much she has suffered. Dad didn't have a heart attack, he committed suicide. I learned this from one of his oldest friends. My mom looked like a deer in the headlights when I asked her about it. There was a teacher at my school who had a stroke and died, turns out that was how the wife, also a teacher, told their kids, she found him hanging during summer holidays. As one of few male teachers in our primary, elementary school, he was most students favorite including mine, and he was always cheery as hell. Depression comes in all shapes and sizes. It's scary. Grandpa asking questions in retirement home randomly about Apple a few months back, dove into his old financial paperwork, he has 209, original very valuable Apple shares. According to stock split history, AAPL has had 4 stock splits. If your grandpa bought them before 1987, those 209 shares marked on paper are now worth 209 times 2 2 2 times 7 equals 11,704 shares. At today's price, worth $2,015,779.92. I had my best friend die when I was 10. It was my very first experience of death. It changed me, I didn't make friends easily after that, anyways. My parents told me she had accidentally hung herself while pretend playing dog with a leash around her neck. Then when I was 17, I was participating in a church youth group lesson that was about rape. The lady teaching told the story of a 10 year old girl she once knew whose father beat and raped her, then she later committed suicide. Turns out it was my friend and I ran away crying. When the lady confronted my parents about lying to me, they said they were never planning on telling me the truth. I remember one afternoon, I went to have a chat with my mom. I asked if she had any funny stories to tell me. She says, no, not really. Oh, there is one thing. You were supposed to be a twin but your sister didn't make it, she told me to ask my sister, grandma, or brother if I didn't believe her. I did and they all confirmed. I was 17 at the time and had no clue. I think your mother has a different idea to me about what constitutes a funny story my uncle is a rapist that is what he went to prison for read it in his diary when i was six an uncle dad's brother who lived on the opposite side of the country came to live with us for a few months 
as a kid I didn't think anything of it past cool, a relative is staying here, then one day he just up and left and we didn't hear from him again. Mom told me like 13 years later that he was on the run from the cops, at the time she didn't know for what, but after he left she found out he was accused of murder, so, yeah. My father's siblings and their families don't talk to us anymore since my grandmother's, their mom, passing in 2009. I was told that they were just too busy working and doing their own thing to hang out like we all used to. But on the off chance I would see them I would always be the first and only one to say hi and try and catch up. About the time I was 18 in 2014, I am currently 22, I was told that the reason they didn't talk to us anymore is that they turned their backs on my grandmother when she was dying and about to lose her house. So my father stepped up and tried to convince his siblings to help save the house and help with the medical bills. They turned their backs on her and my father, so my father ended up buying the house and restored it. When my grandmother passed, my father's siblings tried to claim their piece of mom's money even though they didn't do anything for her when she was dying. They refused to associate with my father, mother sister and me to this day. My mum and dad split up when I was about 4. From 4 until about 12, I had conversations with him over the phone, wanted to go visit but wasn't allowed because I was too young, but my brother had been to visit when he was my age. Turns out that dad was found getting actually inappropriate with me, which is why I was never allowed to visit. I don't remember it, but it explains a lot of personal quirks. And all of my family know, but no one would talk about it until I was 12, and I directly ask my mum questions she couldn't avoid. The thing that pisses me off about it most, is that they let me spend more time exposed to him without making sure I knew he was dangerous. Also super ducked up that they still sent your brother to visit him. Jesus. This is one of those situations where you go no contact. My grandpa fathered two children out of affairs. The youngest one is my age. My mom told me when she was drinking one night. My grandma still doesn't know about the youngest. The youngest is your age. Your grandma doesn't know but your mom does. Plot twist. You are the child. My mother wanted to have an abortion when she got pregnant with me, but my father persuaded her, only to start cheating on her a year after I was born. My mother told me about this while we were fighting one time during my teenage years. They got divorced when I was about 4 years old and I haven't had any contact with him for most of my life. The irony of my existence. Grandpa was an alcoholic, and that's why he slept all the time and was late picking me up from school when we lived with my grandparents. My mom only told me after I complained about a decade later. Explained some other weird shirt he did too. The real reason my aunt moved back to my hometown was she was briefly kidnapped by some bad guys she'd displeased in her work as a judge. This guy held her at gunpoint and told her she could either leave town in the next 24 hours or be taken back in. I was like 8 at the time, so everyone just told me she moved back because she missed us all. I found out about it when my brother and I were rehashing old stuff 10 years later. I have a half brother that turned out to be a child ex-offender and is currently in jail. He's older than me. My sister told me when she found out after talking to my dad about previous experiences with couples slash partners. He alluded to the fact I may have an older brother because he didn't wear protection all that much, but didn't confirm nor deny his existence. My whole family knows at this point obviously, but I kinda freaked out. I won't end up the same though. My grandmother was the illegitimate daughter of a state assembly man. I thought that was almost kind of cool, until I found out that he marked her as dead on her birth certificate, and likely never acknowledged her. Until her mother and sisters were killed, probably in a flu epidemic. Then, he took her into his home where she worked as a maid for he, his cruel wife, and their children, until she met my grandfather at a barn dance and could finally leave the house. She was the sweetest most generous small town lady out there. I would never have known she had a difficult life in her youth. She never talked about it, and I don't think even her own children knew the whole story until she was in her 90s and genealogy became a hobby for someone in the extended family. I sure do miss her. Sounds like Cinderella. Apparently my great aunt, or something like that, ran away with an American soldier back in the days. 
she was engaged and on a pre-marriage trip with her fiancé, and while in Germany she met an American soldier and ran away with him. Left her fiancé in Germany to travel back home alone, and tell her family that she had eloped. My family cut her off and never spoke to her again. Then, when she was older she came back home, penniless with her children staying in the US, and wanted to live with her widowed mother who was living on a very small pension. Don't know what happened to her after her mother died. I found out about this last summer at a family gathering. Not sure why they decided to talk about it. Got a birthday card on my 17th birthday from Christine. Ask my, adoptive, mum who Christine is. Oh, that's your sister, only living biological relative. Didn't know she existed lol. Nothing too crazy, but I found out my mom cheated on my dad before marriage and a second time when I was 3 years old. Took her about 15 years to confess to my dad. Dad is now filing for divorce. I can relate. My parents just got divorced a couple years ago because my mom cheated. Found out she had cheated before when I was around 6. Funny thing is, I remember seeing her with the first guy holding hands. Thought it was weird when I was little but never hit me why until my dad drunkenly ranted about it recently. Very often parents do things around their young kids thinking the children are too young to comprehend them. While that's true, what they don't realize is that children store those memories away and at some point, they'll replay the memories when they are old enough to fully understand what they witnessed. When I was 8, my mom took me on vacation and we stayed at a motel in Florida. My dad stayed home to work. The owner of the motel was a friendly man, and every evening my mom would leave me alone in the room, watching cartoons while she hung out with a nice man. He drove us back to the airport and she gave him a very warm and prolonged goodbye hug. I didn't think anything of it until it hit me at around 15.